Gilad is back on the show. We're just talking about the difference, very subtle difference between deepening the death into emptiness and love versus the self finding another little ground to stand on and proliferate itself. We decided to start recording. Very subtle distinction. Requires a high level of discernment. Yes. And in another sense, and in another sense, it's pretty simple. And it can boil down to the just feeling or isolating or distilling the the pure resonance, the pure joy that is there as like as an underlying underlying reality and let it lead the way. And then in this joy, there is hardly divisions it's like maybe little wobbles to none you know once you're in this like a clarity of joy and kind of like of a heart expensive uh, energy once you tune into it a bit maybe through a little, little bit of imagination and yeah just this inner in a pool which can be also external pool. Uh, so then it's it's just there. Right. And then it's just the courage to listen to it, right? To like to, in a sense, what you pointed out to sacrifice the some perceived uh, benefits or attachments to other scenarios or tra trajectories that seem like another choice in the, at that point. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's endless ways to <clears throat> to not die into space. <laughs> and endless reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Pick your, pick your excuse. Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many grounds to stand on. One of the, one of the easiest ways to sh for me to share what it feels like is that it feels like a a new way to proliferate a sense of identity that's not space so you mean by that identity which is not space right what so, is that? so any it's like it's like going in to more and more subtle grounds for a sense of self to proliferate itself until that ground of the sense of self to proliferate itself is completely seen to be illusory. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a critical point. And I've been amplifying the observation uh, recently for that, exactly for that deeper layers of the self. So if we, we know we have some experience, some access to the, 
to the reality of everything is self, big self. Everything is one. Everything is. So it's easy often, and it's kind of a trap, and I've observed it in me, to hide behind this non-dual self, behind the non-dual uh, realization, which, which takes a shape, which is a kind of a frequency. And then it kind of hides the the still the 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 pro proliferations, right. proliferations, the 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 bubbles, the specks of solidity, which doesn't allow them to be seen and accepted, and thus dissolved. So then, yes. Yeah, so then it's it's subtle because it's not about anything thing as a thing but it's about what projects like the self which is right kind of like in relationship with the thing right right it's not of the thing. yeah it's like the sense of self in relation to the sense of being the creator is like one yeah. of the most subtle um layers because it's which is still a sensation it's yeah yeah and once you enter to like a, a kind of like a doorway like that then what can happen is suddenly what opens up is an is a new domain of an energetic exploration which like kind of expands into a, a more a noticeable or a tangible experience sensation to like penetrate to. And then you can actually see, hey, there is a layer here. There is a there is a self in a sense. It's a, it's subtle. Right. But there's it's something. It's something which kind of like you can say around the shows in, right. in different ways. Right. And then the other way to look at it is the from spaciousness to any sense of creator or capital S self or God or absolute or whatever, that there's another story on that end as well. So you can look at it from the lowercase s self to creator, but you can also look at it from the sense of emptiness to creator. So you can look at it from both those ways that how does that arise? How does my new sense of identity as God arise? And then how do I proliferate a further sense of self through that identification with God? And typically that shows up as, I know answers. Listen to me. Um, now it's time for me to share. Uh, <clears throat> and if, you, if that's seen through, which usually takes uh, more stillness, more silence, more doing nothing, more relaxation, more just bathing in perfection, then it can express from emptiness, from spaciousness itself, instead of from a new identification as God. Yes. Or you can say we, from a position which, which still is kind of hiding or is in need for to gain something from yes there you other go. perceived uh, object or right because i'll still get or, something from all of my other because i'm still projecting a sense of others yeah I'm still projecting a sense of lack that i can still get something to feel more whole Yes. And what's important to say that that in itself is absolutely fine, absolutely natural. There's nothing wrong with that. So that's exactly another thing to actually see as a creation and to, and to kind of like take a step back, reverse the, your, your, your steps from, from this yes. semi-conscious creation projection to the self which is 
conjuring it up. So even that like uh, nat natural sense of like still projecting something and proliferating and, and hiding behind uh, a construct is in itself something to like kind of locate its, its, uh, its subtle source, its causal source as a sensation, as a self and, and accept it. Even not the thing itself, but the, the, the existence of, of the thing, the, the self, which is like under the, the thing. And when I say self again, I mean the great self, the great uh, uh, universal mind. And you mentioned before, so the lowercase self, you want to um, maybe uh, elaborate a bit more in case someone doesn't fully understand the term. Yeah. So when we made it, when we make a distinction, like there's the, the big self, the capital S self and the small self. Yeah. So in that sense, the small self would be uh, pretty much any sense of identity that is not emptiness. And so that in its grossest or most solid form shows up as I am my name and my body and you are your name and your body and we are all separate and I am not whole and therefore I will go and get wholeness through achievements, things like that. Um, and then in its more subtle forms that are less solid, the lowercase s sense of self can show up like a spiritual ego, like, oh, I now know oneness. And so now, because of that, I can begin sharing that what I know endlessly through all different types of content and listen to me because I know the truth more than you do and that is a more uh, subtle, it's so much more subtle. It's so much more subtle and it's, it's rarely, it's really rarely seen through. I could almost sense that I had spent lifetimes in that consciousness. I'd spent lifetimes being a spiritual teacher from a spiritual ego. And that the space that's empty before the spiritual ego, before the spiritual teacher is only now finally being seen and being lived as true non-existence, true non-beingness. Um, so yeah, so those are some of the subtle, subtle, uh, subtle spectrum from complete illusion in a sense of self versus complete emptiness. Yeah. What changes for you? Like just on a, on the level of your, of your life, of your daily energetic mental uh, navigation. True peace true perfection, like the creator sense of self wants to proliferate itself by sharing with itself um, what truth is. And the empty, spacious, no self is absolute perfection, period as it is totally still 
Um, so yeah, peace and happiness, true peace and happiness, indescribable peace and happiness, not the artificial um, happiness that's accrued from material possessions or relationships or substances and not the uh, artificial happiness from floating on I am the Godhead. Um, Station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what about you what's changed what's changed for you so it is in process but yeah what you refer to here it's a great understanding that actually recently i've been been also uh, coming back to and also in the last few days and and seeing the the immense freedom and power and wisdom in this approach and it's kind of a wisdom which is beyond the wisdom of the of the yogi you know of, of discrimination you can still apply this this of course it's there's no it's beneficial but it's the wisdom of knowing that this freedom this uh, perfection this peace this uh, reality or self doesn't need anything any one any experience or not experience to be what it is it's there is no attainment or loss there there is no anything which cannot which can make it not what it is already which can undo it which can which can give it to you to any to any uh, human mind to any like as Karl Renz says it to any phantom and then the quest is actually the pro proliferation of the phantom right of the of that mind of that one who, who thinks it, it is attainable that it's up to him to make this uh, happen so then i love also how we describe how we define compassion compassion is is just not projecting yourself into anything right simple so simple right compassion is emptiness of self yes be, and in a sense you can say also being as you are it's, it's totally total embrace of as you are of as right any condition any condition which uh, comes about spontaneously it's just uh, like that it's the dissociation of I am here somewhere because right. Right. I emerge somehow into this life out of out of the blue, and then every day I go to sleep, and everyone goes to sleep, and again emerges somewhere from from a total darkness, emerge again. So that's that's a great analogy, actually. Like this, right? Just, that's that's just a happens. great analogy. Yes, just happens. So what right. wakes up there? This right right life yeah. wake nice so basically can you keep the sense of darkness throughout the day yes that's within, within the light within just a pure experience of right of light or of life itself of right can you be yes. in a superposition of darkness and light yes and when you say darkness let's uh, let's also be a bit right. more the accurate with this term, which is what you but, shared when you reference sleeping, in essence. Yes. So it's the uh, absence of um, this kind of darkness is the up is the absence of basically, I would say that may maybe to put it simply, which cares. Oh, which it's cares. Like, yeah, it's kind of a carelessness. It's kind of like a a love which is right. which is which is dark, which is cold in a sense. It just like right, whatever, yeah. like an okayness, like an innocence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then all all of this uh, you know fucked upness or 
what we call proliferation of self, the hijacking, the small self, this all uh, clouds and layers of identity can be seen just likely as, as just expression, as just like one side of the coin. And somehow when we see them as they are, like in this light, in this like uh, understanding, this acceptance, what naturally takes the place, I feel for most people actually, is this, more, the, in the relative sense, the more wise uh, manifestation of, of mind. The, most, the more peaceful, the more wise, the more loving also, the more spontaneous. Right. The more following uh, the true joy and resonance without uh, trying to secure something, to gain something. Everybody wants, it's like this total innocence, like the child. Everybody wants actually to be like the child, to... Yeah, to play like 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 a child. It's, it's the, the maybe the ultimate attainment in a right. sense. Yeah, which is in many ways where the collective is heading, which is like seeing through the matrix stronghold and recognizing that true play true love true abundance prosperity for all is no no brainer and so why not have that be the baseline um moving forward for all generations to come so yeah yeah, I like the lighthouse analogy. Just be a lighthouse in your uh, apartment, in your neighborhood, in your workplace, in your wherever you are. Just setting the intention to be this uh, without without any self significance, but just the simple uh, intention to to elevate. Be above uh, the clouds of insanity, complexity, uh, the, the nonsense uh, of adults <laughs> on this, most adults on, on this planet. And, and you know, like the, it's like the, there is there, there are many holes in in this in this net. It's like in this web that anyone has ability to just see through and then count through. Just pick your pick the hole, pick the like in this net. It's it's not like totally sealed. There's always, in a sense, a way out of a certain state of mind, a certain a momentum of identity. We have one of the clear differences um, between uh, emptiness and the sense of creator is that there's a an indescribable finality or end of seeking with emptiness. that was not present prior. Yes. As though the self was still seeking its death because it was still intertwined with the sense of being creator. Yes. So that peace and that happiness that we're referencing 
that only truly comes from an end of seeking because even in doing absolutely nothing one can feel completely perfect and whole which before that was not felt even while doing nothing the sense of i must do something was still very subtly present like a like a humming in the background i must do something to be valid to be whole and then that ends and then it's really important to not go back to doing it's really important to sit in that space to sit in the space to sit in emptiness to be empty to see every single proliferation of self that arises every proliferation of story that arises every single one see through it see through it keep seeing through it let those little karmic seeds dissolve vanish more and more into space and then and only then can you actually re-emerge as being totally vanished yet the lighthouse because you have no sense of self and you don't care you have a carelessness like you said Yes, and, and paradoxically, to what I said uh, earlier, it's by the understanding that there is no way out. So nothing can actually stop this. It's, the wheel goes on for eternity, and the only way out is this understanding. There is no way out. And, this, the, the train cannot stop, I can stop. Or at least slow down and, and look and investigate and dissolve, accept. And it doesn't mean not to follow in the meantime uh, if it's naturally arising your, your joys, uh, your just uh, natural inclinations, preferences, desires. So, yeah, we're not uh, suggesting suppression also. I assume for you too. Uh, right. Uh, we're not, it's not a suppression kind of thing. It's finding the sweet spot. It's finding the, the, this natural ripeness, maturity. Some call it wisdom. To understand like the, the, there is no true gain in anything uh, which is of this world it's not true gain it's it's for it's for fun it's like for joy but it's not for anything else essentially essentially in the deepest in the deepest sense right yeah another so that Excuse me. Another good one has been if you fear death, just wait until you figure out that you're infinite. <laughs> <laughs> you're truly fucked, my friend. <laughs> what are you doing? Playing, playing it like pretending like there is hope. <laughs> hope, man, hope. It's the it's kind of a poison. Yeah. Yeah. Through the bitter. Yeah, through the eternal 
uh, endlessness, there's an ability to cease proliferation and that uh, superposition between uh, total uh, stillness and total absolute insane movement of all sorts is so cool. <laughs> yeah. It's like what comes up is just what's left is to rejoice. Rejoice. Right. Right. Which is identical to the child that's playing in the grass under the sun right now. So, so be the children that are have their basic needs met and that are just able to be joy itself. Um, let's play. Let's play. Yeah, yeah, that's actually that's great, and and I feel like for many. Uh, Many folks, many uh, could say seekers in these times, which uh, dive into the uh, non-dual teachings and teachers and all of that. Uh, yeah, all of that uh, realm. I feel that often what's kind of like missing is actually the the integration of the into the life force of the life force itself like kind of like the unleashing of of the life force which truly enables mm. one to go beyond the mind and to and to integrate this realization deeper and more viscerally and then also giving you actually the true ground for practicing the the dissolution the emptiness not from the mental or even the stillness kind of meditation but it gives you like kind of walk or a mirror effect to see what's actually you have to still dissolve so actually it's super important and that's actually the fastest track to to fully to to fully follow the life force while maintaining this wisdom uh, remembrance and application in a sense of I am nowhere here. I'm nowhere to be found. I am none of it. Yeah. Yeah. And it shows up in such like, <laughs> like ways, you know, and like to. <laughs> You know, like breathe through that, move through that, be a little, little like reptile or chimp or a baby. <laughs> like be yes. that also. And then thou de it'll, it'll dementalize you. Right. And then that's another way for the feeling of emptiness to be rooted joy love to express itself because the little prison that's up here has been <laughs> broken over and over and over and over and over and over and over no more conditions We, we live in a, a very modern time and something that's not really talked about enough is the internet and how the internet for the vast majority of it is the proliferation of senses of self and stories and identities 
And the cell phone itself and all of the messaging apps and all of the social apps and accessing that daily is just the bathing in senses of self, senses of identity, senses of stories, narratives, self-images, self-esteems, self-worth, lack beliefs, all of that. And so the only way to really vanish repeatedly into emptiness is many ways to just stop using those devices and those messaging apps and those social apps and talking to people incessantly all the time. Monks go to caves in the mountains for years and have been for millennia because of that. Because they want to know emptiness. They want to know space. They want to know no self. They don't want to proliferate a sense of self that's then engaging with other senses of self around their identities and lacks and stories and all this type of stuff. So then, and only then, you can re-engage, let's say, with the messaging apps and the social medias and the conversations and all that stuff. But it does take a, in many ways, it takes a, a, a discipline, an indescribable discipline. Um, yeah. A diet, in a sense. And then burning desire also uh, towards that uh, clarity yeah. that uh, it's helpful, it's serving, it's uh, enabling this uh, sharper focus, this yeah, more one point of discipline. And in some cases, if, if your desire is truly, truly, truly uh, very intense, like for example, uh, Frank Yang, uh, yeah, then, then in a sense, you'll do what's necessary in the midst of whatever you do or don't do. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great to take times of total uh, fast, fasting from, from this occupation and interactions and people and dynamics and screens. Yeah, to, to more simplicity, silence, contemplation. Because in a sense, it's like, when the wall is thick, when the, when the layer is, 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 when there's an accumulation of, of this uh, identity, that is being carried for many years, usually it takes like kind of a special mission, a special op to get like the, the air out of it, out of it, like yeah. start to like kind of like drain the swamp. So it can be very helpful to dedicate uh, uh, some time, yeah, some good time to, to that. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, imagine uh, two decades of proliferation and then um, trying to uh, to see through all of the different facets or dynamics of that proliferation without uh, making it a full-time job. Hmm. You can't. You won't finish this lifetime. You won't. You will not. Yeah. There's no chance you will if you don't make it a full-time job. If you don't make uh, the dissolving of the sense of self a full-time job, you will not finish this lifetime. Yet at the same time, there is none even in the first place. It's just a complete assumption. Right. But then as long as you have the experience of uh, suffering, of uh, I am projected here in this uh, reality, somewhere uh, whether it's the body or more subtle layers uh, yeah so it still generates pain it still generates suffering it still generates 
right. the experience of there is something to lose. Even if I am in the gut state, in the awareness state, there is still the fear of losing it. There is still the suffering, basically, because I think I am still somewhere. Mm. And right. Yeah. So yeah. then it's like it's an endless uh, rat race. Uh, in a sense so then so so yeah my, the point was the point is that if still there is that experience and the desire to so to speak uh, see fully the the reality of this state of the statements like it's already attained freedom is ever the case it doesn't need you or me or anything to be what it is so it takes a great deal of burning desire the highest prioritization fire of truth and following your heart wherever it takes you the, the many ways and i like also what carl rents i is really great source for that kind of, of, of understandings he says like you can only fail <laughs> you can only fail and once you once you become like an an absolute failure that's where you s s succeed so to speak <laughs> you have to become an absolute failure you can only fail you can all once all efforts are exhausted but by grace by accident by by whatever it's it can like come so to speak it can it can like consume the 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 human mind uh, and and kind of take over uh, with this natural spontaneity and we all know this we all know this experience but it's not permanent, it's not logged in, it's not uh, a consistent reality devoid of suffering, devoid of uh, conflicting. Right. Devoid of any conceptualization or differentiation completely. Devoid yeah. of any location completely, right? All of those things. Um, yeah, just the cessation of projection, period. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the like all playgrounds become equally uh, fun. <laughs> there's there's nothing which is not the playground. The only ultimate playground that is all equally right. That right. Right. So uh, another way to say is uh, upon like realization of cessation of projection, there is only projection, which is all equal and all also appearing different, which is beauty itself. Yeah. That's why the middle way is so important or the um, like yeah, I mean you can't you can't even you can't even talk about it um, because anytime you talk about it, it automatically makes it partial. So you you have to you have to, when you do try and speak it, you have to speak it ho as holistically as possible, um, which includes the illusion of the parts. And so it's crazy to even try and talk about it. Yes, and yeah, the illusion of the parts and where you actually see through experientially, this illusion is, is on the subtler uh, layers of, of sensations, of causal um, 
self arising right that's where, what's that's like the, kind of like the bed rock the right the the fabric is is kind of like resting there and appearing as all kinds of uh, separate parts which then we call uh, illusory whatever separate blah blah uh, expressions and dualities yeah I, f- I feel it's a key and, and i'm curious if if you've been yeah because i notice also we haven't sp- we haven't spoken for a while i noticed like this change in your energy and and expression and yeah like a shift which is which feels really good so i'm curious if you've been uh, actually engaged in this kind of uh, practice or um, just it's not even a practice it's more like a w- wisdom maybe a natural byproduct of wisdom which is just to, to see through to to go deeper and accept slash dissolve slash understand yeah is it is that is it something you've been playing yeah. with yeah i would say uh in a very like natural and organic mm-hmm. way in the last couple of months um mm, these like last really subtle um expressions of the projection of a sense of self has diminished and the um the sense of being totally devoid of identity and spacious empty and love um has emerged in an unprecedented way in a way that has never been present before and um i i i deeply i deeply not only like i do credit that actually to this um this like insane um desire for emptiness above everything else um but i also um i credit it to um the respite so like the ability to retreat from uh the proliferation of world and story and self and others all of that to retreat from that um so that you can more clearly see like what you were describing that bedrock of causal seeds of the sense of self and others and world arise and express and to then be like fuck whoa that was crazy that conglomerated knot of craziness how it projected itself and then went off and and then but this is love itself before that crazy illusion illusory projection and um and so i uh yeah that i would say has been yeah the last the last couple of months but like really like now is feel so good and and i really feel like it's it, it's in many ways like a training uh mm-hmm. it's like training wheels also because the thing about saying that you're done um is that there's uh there's like there's only impermanence um and so there's only more uh quote work to do at the same time that you are feeling the absolute perfection when you do totally nothing so meaning when the space goes out when love goes out and engages with itself in all worldly dynamics those more and more subtle senses of self will arise and be seen through and purified ongoingly um so yeah to say that one is completely empty of all um karma is a very um po- it's impossible it's also very bold um and it takes a lot of um yeah it takes a lot of uh whatever this is <laughs> and yeah man what about you 
how have you been like the last couple of months with with this because you also do feel different So what I what I saw, what I noticed, what I experienced also is a, a spectrum of uh, let's call it versions of myself and of choices and frequencies. And the spectrum went from like joy and, and bliss and simple radiance to kind of dark and heavy and lethargic and almost depressive sense like there was a little wave of like something in the flavor of like kind of nihilistic heavy uh, couple of weeks so be taking all of that as one is as a as something which actually like understanding that it has to play out it has to play out one for me to see something for this like localized conscious consciousness to see something and also to deepen what we've been talking about this conviction this sense of uh, impermanence, the sense of nothing sticks, the sense of uh, amplifying the this um, strengthening the the thirst for wisdom, for true wisdom. Kind of like this point of no return. And for me, I've, I had I had already this point of no return. And I had it, I had it, yeah, quite quite a lot of times, I would say, even. But I still feel there are more to come, kind of like points of no return for me. And I persist. Basically, I have persisted with the with deepening this this vision the knowledge that I'm all of it. And when I say I, it's like this mysterious and in a sense unexplained, doesn't come from anywhere existence, which wakes up in the morning and it's all of it. And <sighs> sometimes it, th it thinks it's, it's like, it's something. There's like an, some kind of, picture of a frame in the movie hijacks another right as a friend says so that, so that's been great just to see it just to see it play out and and moving and in that sense i feel uh it's like bringing me back to what we've been discussing, like the, the desire to actually go back to even more simplicity, more like natural rhythm of joy and uh, dissolution, basically. Yes. Right. Yes, like rem remembering this is, this is the only way in a sense to be, to be, in the state of, of love, of, of compassion, is to be totally out of the game. Yeah. So that's 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 still uh, my very like top desire, I would say, in a sense. But still, I've been seeing like also other desires, which. Uh, allegedly contradicts it. It's still the same desire, but just coming from a more like a local uh, unwise uh, 
layers of, of self. So then also accepting that, loving that, seeing that as it is, and understanding it's only, it's only pointing me to a pure state of being, a pure sense of self, which all, all it wants is, is the joy of, of being, of expressing, of playing, of being free of the weight right. of the world. Right. In a sense. And then everything is can be let in naturally, naturally. Everything is attracted. Everything comes into place. Everything brilliantly, intelligently plays out, catered, given, su supporting this vehicle, this body, this uh, creature identity. Yeah, so that's that's more like on the per periphery, right? It, while having this crystal clear established understanding and attitude of knowing all of that still is the stream of death in a sense. It's already it's already too late. Whatever is happening here, it's too late. Nothing can alter or change or attain this absolute perfection, freedom, peace, because anything that happens, it's too late. It's already gone in the realm of experiences. So that's the paradox. And Phil, that's, that's for me what I, I investigate and, and, and deepen in, in the last two years and continue doing that, yeah. It's so joyful. So once you like just combine this, and like being in the source of the paradox of this paradox it's indescribable joy it's just you cannot stop laugh <laughs> it's a joke yeah right such a joke totes yeah another fun way to visualize it that's come up is to like imagine just like going taking your hands and like going and carving out through your eyes into your brain and taking your entire brain and just throwing it outside of your body and then just feeling how there's just space inside of your cranium and then like that is like another way to just like feel um <laughs> identity less um without agency without doership without manipulating whatever is carefree playful blah, not caring blah, whatever whatever uh and yet at the same, yeah. and at, and yet at the same time like you know present with that empty love mm -hmm. to whatever is for it to heal because it's you so um yeah man yeah, that's a natural for me, for most of us the natural is like this current of evolutionary realignment uh, which just takes place by by this very act and surrender of taking a step back observing uh, yeah and all of that It's great. We yeah, while we do this work also we we become we become truly also available to our to our brilliance. Uh, like most natural and abundant and epic right uh, right game character <laughs> right yeah yeah the, yeah the power that's felt from feeling perfect while also the the game shape shifting to realize its perfection. Um, 
it's just it, you can't find anything like that in anything that the self can proliferate and um at all you just can't like you get glimpses of it when you're when you've lost your sense of self while you're in the middle of sex or while you're in the middle of a a peak um meditative absorption or in the um psychedelic or entheogenic experience uh you know you get glimpses of it and then you congeal again a little sense of self that's a little less uh knotted but to feel the unknottedness of perception ongoingly is in it's so gold man it's so gold yeah it just it's ever is in a sense and it's not anything so it's so it's in a sense it's subtle but also it's not because it's so obvious in another way it's so obvious <laughs> it's so hilarious it's so hilarious and it's not a thing my friends that's the most important i would say my message <laughs> it's not a thing it's not ex an experience it's not anything it's not anything right how can it be right Beautiful. Amen. <laughs> it's a, a new little yoga you develop. <laughs> Bro, this shit just expresses itself in however the fuck it wants. And it just works. It just works, man. It takes that little... It takes that little uh, knot and immediately unknots it. Nice. Nice. Unknotted. Like, little, like, it's just like breaking whatever script is like running. Oh, yeah. It's, it's very reptilian. I really don't know how else to put it. It's like if you merge, <laughs> it's like if you merged a reptile like a like an alligator with a frog with like a lion or with like a bird like all of that shit like just merge all of that together into like this which is a product of the evolution of it yeah anyway. yeah so we're just relating it's the brain also it's part of the brain it's part even of the human brain you know the, right. the, we have the reptilian brain it is in a sense more close to not really but like chronologically what wise to source to the beginning uh in this uh, suit so yeah I, I like it it's like it's all it's gonna just play with this all of these energies and and be there yes. yes be whatever be whatever how, how can so one how can one be an energy master or a jedi if they haven't mastered all of the energetic uh principles of all of those reptilian nice. weird blah, 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 style of expressions yeah. including that innocent child that just doesn't know anything the total unknowing unknowing completely yeah yeah that's the number one i guess uh Kind of like weight or limitation is is us being uh, as I mean as humans being knowledgeable, yeah. Thinking we know, thinking we know anything, we know anything. It's like where does it lead? Where does it lead us? So it's right, just disrupting the knowledge. Fuck knowledge, fuck knowledge. Let's end. Let's end. Let's end together. Uh, 
our knowledge. Right. And there is knowledge in terms of assembling a Tesla. There's knowledge. Yeah. And con con conversing and whatever. Just but it's but it is. It's not, you can say if you if you look at it, it's not it doesn't take actually knowledge in its naturalness. It just it's a, it's the same as waking up in the morning. You don't need knowledge to wake up. There you go. It just happens. Right. Right. What's waking up again? What's waking up? So it's also paradoxical because what 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 think it knows? It's another like natural right. also right. spontaneous arising, right? So it's not even like changing anything within this dream of of the one who knows. It's more like. disrupting it as you, as you say right yeah ha what thinks it knows <laughs> <laughs> so good <sighs> yeah man uh good stuff who are you who, who hello who? What is I? La la la. We. Oui. We have so many infinite bras out there, huh? Ah. Who are you? Our oh, infinite bras. Bras. Show up. Wherever you are. I gotta say, vanishing is fucking sweet it's it's in many ways more sweet than showing up so um <laughs> so and then you do both at the same time and it's the end but it's uh the endless end but yeah man it's just it's way it's way nice to just be nobody and be nothing and be nowhere um and then be everywhere and everybody and everything but but that that itself is just that's healing that is healing being nobody is healing <laughs> i like it i like it it's actually it's also powerful it's also really pretty powerful like this i actually don't want you to show up and tell you're nobody <laughs> yeah that's why i say like the infant bras right yes <laughs> so yeah yeah and and again it's like i feel for me it's not necessarily like a binary i mean it's it also can be but i had this uh, very powerful uh, phases where i actually saw like this the, the nobodiness and still everything goes on brilliantly lovingly perfectly with the triggers with whatever comes up and what would describe it maybe the best in like human terms is is is, a, is magic is a state of it's total magic magical flow right it's total magic so, and then it and then it feels like you are like kind of like an empty <clears throat> like almost like a wormhole and everywhere that it looks at you interacts with you is is just seeing himself and he and he knows it and then you see also for the person he recognizes this on some deep level that that's what happens so it's like this empty love empty love right. so yeah so definitely this this can be glimpsed it can be experienced it can be kind of brought up or just <laughs> step step down you know the, the nowhere into the state but then for me, like it wasn't permanent. So yeah. So the mind or like the, the one who still needs something came back. Which is fine, which is fine too. It's all it's all good. It's all like in the same time I can I can I can see, I can like put him down to sleep any moment, right? <laughs> Yeah.
yet. It's so easy to get caught in the things that don't allow one to permanently be devoid of self, identity, location, all that. To be like what you said, a uh, empty love reflection everywhere. Mm. Um, yeah, it's just, it's so easy to get tied back into that and so it's bleh, 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 you know yeah. just yeah. over and over and over and over over and over, yes. over, over and over and over but the good news that nothing sticks nothing ever sticks so every illusory moment is another empty opportunity <laughs> to see that I'm, I'm nowhere to be found. Right. To keep exhausting this, this uh, right. momentum of, of projecting myself and choose, in a sense, it looks like choosing compassion somehow. I like it. I like it. Yeah, and another way to feel it is like a one beingness that's present. Yeah, exactly. Like everything is the same thing. The same being, the same eye, the same eyes. Yes. The same nanoparticle or a micro quantum entity. <laughs> Dancing in the wind. <laughs> Very good. Fun party. Yeah, we had we had uh we had mentioned this in the months that we were together um and it's cool to see it finally come is this this dialogue but from what is now just feels it feels great and uh yeah so yeah it's very good it's very good very good my friend very good very good man very good yeah so we'll see how this keeps playing out uh i mentioned to gilad that somebody commented on one of our previous conversations and said something like does gilad have his own youtube channel yet and so we'll see how that comes to life absolutely we will nice Nice. Yeah. Glad uh, we were able to have another powwow. So we have a, uh, what do we have? We have a couple other previous episodes together. You can just look up uh, Gilad on simulation. You can find those episodes. Yeah. Some previous versions. Right. Or selves and. Uh, right. Whatever, whatever that. Uh, uh, yeah. And then there's other stuff in the bio that you can find probably Gilad's Instagram and yeah, it will yeah. be updated also uh, soon but yeah my Instagram uh, and soon other um, gateways nice to interact and as you guys know thank you for tuning in we love you we love you we love you Keep surfing on the waves of joy and compassion compassionate emptiness amen good stuff yeah hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet like the video if you haven't yet also helps the algo leave a comment with your 
feels on the episode and share it with people if you feel like it resonated or could help those that are seeking that is all folks infinite love from the infinite bras Adonai. <laughs> Adonai. <laughs>